want to preach to some sanctified folk. I can call him up. Call him up. And tell him what you want. It's good assurance to know when I call Jesus. He's somewhere. He's somewhere. He's here right now. He's over there. Up yonder downtown. But when I call him. I get an answer. Because he promised me. I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. I'll be with you. When the clouds are heavy. I'll be with you. When the doctor tells me. We've gone as far as we can. I know a doctor. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I feel him in here now. Say yeah. I know he will. He will answer prayer. I know he will. Because I call him and he answer me. I don't see nothing. But every now and then I get a yo yo. There is a God somewhere. Say yeah. 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 The people who were members of the church that Jesus made, uh, they were witnessing uh, a group of witnessing people. Witnessing is a natural expression of uh, redemption. These young Christians had something to say to their world. And they said it by their lips and by their lies. The young church had good news for their world. And they couldn't contain it. Y'all even say, I got to praise and I got to let it out. I don't need a fancy pulpit. I don't need a good looking row, but I can testify that one day since Jesus came into my heart, joy is flowing like a river. Come and see what the Lord has done. Uh, he picked me up and he turned me around. He placed my feet on higher ground. He put joy in my soul. He took doubting from my mind. And now I can say that something, something mighty sweet about the Lord. Taste and see. That the Lord is good. I know you will. He'll make a way. Is he all right? Is he a burden bearer? Is he a heavy old chap? Is he a mind fixer? Won't he pick you up? Won't he carry you safely across? Won't he heal you? Won't he keep you? With your mind stayed on him. Tell the Lord thank you. Come on, tell him thank you. Tell somebody, look where he brought me from. They were people involved in breaking barriers that is the, the young church the church that Jesus made I'm not talking about the church you studied up on I'm not talking about natural science I'm talking about the spirit of the living God God is a spirit 
and while you're working up on something, the spirit breaks the yoke and set the captive free. Is he all right? Tell the Lord, yeah. The church today must witness. The church must do as the church Jesus made. The church must put the right caption back on your religious activity. This is the church of God. That Jesus died for our sins, rose, and coming back again. Coming after church like the one he made. Yeah. Yeah. I believe that, that it's good enough to tell somebody that Jesus is going away. But he's coming back again. I'm looking forward to the second appearance. He is coming back. Coming after church without a spot of rank or any problem. We'll clear that seat. Yeah. I know he's coming now. I see the signs coming now to carry me home. Yeah. Swing low. Sweet chariot. Yeah. Yeah. Say yeah. Stay right with me. Stay with me. Ain't no failure in it. Tell the Lord, yeah. The young church faced numerous barriers. There were barriers between male and female, between the women and men. Women had no real position as individuals. They were not respected. Oh, bless his name. There were political barriers. The Roman government had power, power over the lives of people. There was an economic barrier. The wealthy kept the poor in poverty. There was a racial barrier. The Jews and the Gentiles were on opposite sides of a very different fence. And Peter moved across across the barriers in witness to the man from Ethiopia and the spirit of the Lord led Peter to Cornelius place the young church move on to other cultures strange shows Paul underscores this ingredient, uh, yes he did, of the young church in his letter to the Ephesians. They did not do this simple or without human tension, but the church that Jesus made is one that, that must see every life as one loved by Jesus. He is the Savior. Oh, bless his name. Listen what he said. What man of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. The world knew him not and they know of us not. But right now, of we the sons of God, it does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know what when he shall appear. I will be like him. Yeah. Tell the Lord, yeah. Tell the Lord, yeah. I'm gonna see him as he is. 
every man that hath this hope in him purifies himself even as he is pure. Tell the Lord, yeah. Tell the Lord, yeah. They did not wait for fancy building, but they worship in their homes on the riverbanks, in the prison cell, in synagogue, in busy marketplace. You ought to know enough about Jesus. The says the writer said, if I was dying and had one last word to say, I'll speak it for Jesus and breathe my life away because he promised never 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 to leave me yeah yeah say yeah mm -hmm. and I'm so glad that to be a member of the church Jesus made you don't need a special area. You don't need sheepskin or elevation. You don't need to be a member of Fortune 500. You don't need to be the favorite of the political party. You don't need fine clothes or jewelry. You don't need to have laying it on the Mayflower. But you shout it out. I came to Jesus just as I was. We had one in say, not found in him a rest and praise. He made me glad. Tell the Lord, yeah. Tell the Lord, yeah. And when that Jesus came into the chorus of Sister I feel him. He asked the disciples, saying, Whom the men say that I am. Some say John the Baptist. Some said Elias of one of the prophets. But I want to know whom say ye that I am. And Peter answered, Thou art the Christ the son of the living God. And Jesus replied, flesh and blood have not revealed it unto you, but my Father which is in heaven and upon this rock I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. Say yeah. 